Hi everybody, this is Jared from ppccampaigngenerator.com. I've been hard at work building out the latest version of PPC Campaign Generator and you can check it out at my website. In this video I want to give you an advanced tutorial on how I do keyword generation and also how I leverage AdWords Editor to build different keywords with different geotargeted locations in them. So first, let's just say we're here on the Google Keyword Tool. Let's say we have a client. They are a sighting client in the Seattle area. So we will just type in Seattle sighting, sighting Seattle, for example. Only show me ideas closely related, just so we don't get all the garbage that the Google Keyword Tool throws at you. And we see we got five keywords, so that's clearly not going to work. Let's just go ahead and get the garbage, I guess. So we have 802 ideas now. Let's download them. And the purpose here is not to be concise. It's simply to show you some techniques. So you can see these are pretty much related to the city of Seattle. And uh, we got a Minnesota one here, so that's just proof that the Google Keyword Tool is really bad. But what you can do is take this list of keywords, and we know it has like Minnesota, it says Twin Cities, right? But we looked for Seattle keywords. What we can do is throw it into this tool called Keyword Classifier. And what this will do is it can tokenize your keyword list. So we want Seattle, but we do see like Twin Cities, which is a Minnesota area. What we can do is tokenize our keyword list, like you see. So what we did just put these placeholder parameters. I just had it called city underscore name in these brackets. And then we remove duplicates. And we can also do that with state full name. So think of it Washington or Minnesota. We're going to replace that with a token. We remove duplicates and then we replace the state abbreviations. Replace. And there we go. So now our keyword list is tokenized. And what we can do in this situation is we know we've removed any unwanted locations like Twin Cities, for example. So what we can do, uh, what I like to do is say, this is a campaign around citing. So let me just type in citing. So these keywords, 393, actu 392 actually have to do with citing. So let's go ahead and cut these. So they're saved in my clipboard right now. I'm going to delete everything else that doesn't have citing. So all these keywords do contain citing, and we can see different types of citing. And we can see some of them have these city parameters in them. So when you get to this point, what you can do is paste your keyword list into um, you know, AdWords Editor, and you can group them. Here's an example. So we have affordable citing, city name, state full. We have best citing, state full. So what we can do now is we can do a find and replace here within AdWords Editor. So let's select everything. We're on the Keywords tab. And you see these, these red warning signs. If we click this to see why we're getting those, that's because it doesn't allow these parameters at the beginning of the keyword. So if we look at the error, for example, it'll say um, basically you can't have these characters within the keyword. And that's no problem because we're going to find and replace them now using an ad advanced tip that I use quite a bit. And what we're going to do is just a find and replace. We're going to find city name, the placeholder parameter in our keywords right here, keyword. And we're going to replace it with Seattle. So I'm just going to hit find matches, 162 found, replace. And now you saw those warning signs go away. Now let's go ahead and find and replace state abbreviation with the state abbreviation we actually do want, which is WA for Washington. We're finding whole words only. And then let's do the same thing for state full. And let's replace this with Washington. Okay, so we're finding, replacing, done. So now what we can do, and this is the advanced part, is we can do a find and replace to find different cities that we do want and add those as keywords. So now we're going to find Seattle and let's say we want Tacoma. So instead of finding all of them, filtering them, taking them to Excel, we can use this duplicate 
matching items and replace text and duplicates. So this is going to find everywhere that it sees Seattle in the keyword and it's going to create a new instance replacing Seattle with Tacoma. So when I hit this it says 162 items were found and do I want to select them after it creates the new Tacoma keywords? I could select this box if I do or I could just hit duplicate and replace. For now I'm just going to hit duplicate and replace and then when we scroll to the bottom here we're going to see some keywords that are unselected and you'll, you'll notice something about these keywords they all contain the word Tacoma. So basically in the house sighting ad group it found Seattle Washington house sighting and it found and replaced the word Seattle and created a new instance of a keyword and replaced it with Tacoma. So now we have Seattle and Tacoma keywords. So with these selected we could do the same thing for another city if we wanted to. For example, I live in Puyallup so we can find Seattle and replace it with Puyallup. There we go. And this time I'll just select the newly created keywords. And now when I did that it jumped to the bottom and it selected 162 keywords that all contain Puyallup. So that's kind of how this advanced feature works, is find and replace. It's really powerful. You can use it also in the ads. If you're here in the ads and you have geo-targeted specific ads, you can select a few, hit Control H, and duplicate existing ads and replace them with a different city. So this can save you a lot of time, and this is a pretty advanced AdWords editor tip. If you want to know more, visit PPC Campaign Generator and check out our software. This software allows you to build paid search campaigns very quickly and easily. And we just upgraded it, so you might want to stop by, see if it's what you're looking for. Thanks.